Hello game developers, on this video we are going to go a bit deeper into add-on integration. We will add sounds, textures and add buff slots to the interface. If you watched the part 1, we added example unit frames and on this video we are going to add textures and we'll also add a sound that will play when the player character dies. Now you can see the unit frames are a bit flat and we want to improve it by adding textures. Now the first thing I want to do is to replace how the health bar is shown. On the previous video, you could see that I'm calculating with rects, but now we are going to use progress bars, which is better to express a health bar in this case. We can set 1 for maximum HP or 0 for 0 HP. So we are going to add a function, create progress bar, and since we're also going to play sounds, we also create a function called play sound. The progress bar element is nothing more than a container where I can set a percentage in this case. So you can see that when I set a percentage, I will get the image component and I'll set the fill amount to the percentage. So this is how we want it to look like. So I replace the previous elements with progress bars. And then I tell which image I want to use, in this case, gradient 3. And now, as you can see, it's easier to actually set the percentage of the health bar and the resources bar. We calculate and we set percentage. That's it. Now, we also want to have some sounds. So we are going to register to a player death event and we're going to play a sound whenever the player dies. So this is the sound we're going to use. Let's see how it looks like in-game. And there you have it. So we expose some functions to Lua and using Unity we can create the elements with images and we can also play sounds. On the spell editor video, I create a healing spell that has a healing over time effect. While both server and client handle the buffs, they don't really have a visual representation. So now we are going to create an add-on that shows the buffs. To do this, we are going to expose a function to Lua called getUnitAuras, and this will tell us what auras you have on your character. This could be a buff or a debuff. So the first thing I want to do here is to create an aura slot. Now we're going to do something which is close to a class in Lua scripting, and so the first thing we are going to do is to create an object called aura slot, and then we are going to add functions to it. Now we need a function to create a new aura slot, and while this looks a bit complicated, it's actually quite simple, and we're going to take a look at it in a more deep video on Lua scripting. We add three functions, create UI, set aura and clear, and this will allow us for now to have all the functionality we need to show an icon, and the seconds remaining, or in the case that the buff expires, we can just clear the slot. On the set aura function, we are going to set the seconds on the text element, and we're also going to use set image spell ID, which internally will get the texture of the spell, and it will apply it on the image component of the buff. The clear function will remove the seconds and set the color to transparent. Now that we have a concept of an aura slot, we are going to create five aura slots to hold aura buffs. As you can see in this simple for loop, we are doing just that. And now we have the most important part of the add-on, which is the main loop. Now we want to check this every frame, and to do that we are going to use coroutines. So what we are going to do is to call the function as a coroutine and return it to Unity. Well, that was disorienting. On the main loop, we are going to periodically check, in this case every frame, for what auras the player has. So every frame, we are going to get the player auras, and you can see behind the scenes, we are getting the player character, we get the auras, and then we create simplified versions of those auras and pass it on to Lua. It is a way to control how much information the addons can have. Now, for each of the auras we received, we are going to get an aura slot and we are going to set aura with that aura. And then for each of the remaining aura slots, we are going to clear. And the key part of this main loop 
is that we are doing yield. When we do yield, we are returning control to the Unity script. And what we do then is that on the next frame, we are going to call back the Lua script so it can continue the execution of the function. And now we can do a little test. And as you can see, it works really nice. We can see the buffs on the top right corner. And it's actually a bonus from having add-ons integration into the game because before we had no buffs visualization. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe and the bell icon and see you in the next video. Bye.